getting started! Yo, 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 what is going on, all my wonderful but amazing viewers? It's your boy, Real Gamers, back with another video. And before anything, I would like to start by saying thank you for all my new and current viewers just watching the video and taking the time of your day, so thank you. Now, let's get straight into what the video is about, which is water prec. And with the way that I'll be showing everything, I'll be explaining it like so, showing you guys my range loadouts and single target first, then my gameplay at the end. Not mentioning the gear mods, artifacts, and allies, but that will also be shown as well, so skip to whatever section that feels needed. Not to mention, not to mention, but for those who are actually considering on going to this power, please let this video be a guide as I'll be explaining some of the things I agree and disagree about. So yeah, with our CR being as low as it is, I'll let the number speak for itself and please listen to the whole video as it took me some time of explaining everything, so it'll do me that favor. Anyways, let's go for 25 likes and please hit that like button, show the love and support. Also go in the comment section, let me know what I forgot to include or what I could have done differently. Please share the video, recommend me to others, which I do other power videos, and yeah. Let's get straight into it. Here are the moves for our first loadout, and please be aware, if you guys are not wanting to run Bubble, just replace it for Riptide. As for your weapons, you'll be running Dueled and Brawling, so just run whatever. In my opinion, I feel Super Speed is the best movement, so go to that. Here's my Iconic Tree. And finally, here are my stats. Now, getting straight into our first rotation, and with using Water, especially Range, Water doesn't really offer that many moves that are usable, in my opinion. And as for using Depth Charge, which is the only damaging move in our rotation, that move does some, some pretty nice damage with it also being a 3 burst. Now besides the move being a 3 burst, it doesn't leave a dot behind, but it does compensate by it being a short cooldown, which does give you some leeway into spamming the move a bit more. Speaking about moves, we are also running Bubble, and for those who may not know what it does, using the move while being in DPS gives you a bonus to your damage, which basically lets all your water moves do a bit more. But then again, it's up to you if you would like to run Bubble for only one move that's doing damage, or three, since it's doing three hits, ha ha ha. And finally, for those who may not want to run Bubble, A, go Phase Dodge or Vortex Trap, but then again, that's you being super speed, and that's a whole nother mess. Anyways, here's what my damage is. Okay, okay, getting straight into the first single target loadout, and as for moves, keep in mind you could replace Bubble for Riptide, which Riptide allows you to spam Shark Frenzy twice or pop the weapon buff again. Getting straight into our first rotation, as I said we are using Shark Frenzy as our move, 
and I'll be upfront and just say this, but Shark Frenzy is a good move. It does some really nice upfront damage, which is around 45-50k, or maybe even 55-56k on crit. Now please don't get me wrong, for those wondering if I tried using High Tide or not, I did. I tried replacing it for Bubble, and yeah, don't do it. <laughs> it's, it's really not worth it at all. Like being up front, for those who may want to use this move, you're only using it for what? One move, which is Shark Frenzy, and <laughs> after you crit, the move's on cooldown for 30 years, unless you have Tsunami Strikes, which is highly unlikely for a Prec user, so... Other than that, you have better moves to use like maybe Phase Dodge or Riptide or even Vortex Trap if you really wanted to. But here's what my damage is looking like and I hope you guys are enjoying. On to our next rotation and with this loadout once again we are using depth charge and as I stated earlier one of the main things that carries this power so much is this move right here. Now I'm not saying every move is bad when it comes to using water but compared to using depth charge and any other yeah depth charge is going to blow all the other ones out the the water <laughs> you, you feel me. I think the move has a slow start. Compared to most other moves that leave a dot behind on your enemy, the only thing riding for this move is it being a 3 burst, which if you're on a boss with many adds, the damage is going to be splitting. <laughs> so don't get me wrong, if you're on a boss, you will be hitting hard, especially if adds are nearby. But as I said, splitting is something that I'm not a fan of, and for those who may not understand, I'll maybe explain it later. But <laughs> anyways, for what my running and as for some of the main pieces for your helmet of course run whatever supercharge mod and also for your leg piece whatever move you use the most just run that and also for your back mod if you aren't too focused on doing damage then a run accelerated bubble for artifacts we're running the transformation card strategist and the grim now for my players that have the scrap of the so cloak or the eog a feel free to use that it's completely optional depending on your situation and finally you have the quizlet which let's not talk about my level because it's under maintenance but for those who have it it does a lot of damage as for my allies here's what i am running i am running cyborg batman who laughs and nubia cyborg just for the aoe attack and he provides power the batman who laughs for the random card that he provides which is helpful for your stats and finally nubia which also increases your stats which level doesn't matter so we really spoken about a lot throughout the video i hope you guys have all made it to the very end and for those who have thank you thank you a lot once again, but for those who are wondering if they should switch or not, I do feel you should, especially if you want to try out a new power. And as you guys have been seeing, but my numbers look nice, I'm nowhere near max gear, my gen mods aren't maxed for those who wonder, and my guitar isn't even maxed. But with every power, there are some pros and cons, so you really can't control how that works so and as i mentioned earlier with damage splitting let me just explain what that means so basically you have a move that does 15k damage and let's just say you have three adds technically you should be able to hit those three adds for 5k each correct but in water's terms sometimes as you're popping a move that 5k won't always stick to that 5k it may drop to 2.5 it may drop to three but still water does fluctuate like that and that's just something we can't control 
which I'm not sure if it's just a water thing, but it's only something that I've noticed with water, which I'm not considering it a bad power, but you feel me. I mean, I'm just another player that tries and enjoy the power to its fullest, you get me? But anyways, besides the bad, I mean, the goods are obviously Bubble, which amp up your damage, and Riptide, which resets any water-based move, and a plethora of artifacts to pick from. Anyways, I'm done talking. I've been talking for long enough, and hey, please leave a comment if I said anything wrong or just forgot to include something. But take it easy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> take care.
cheese. I invest in some of swatter, could've bought a Bay Breeze. Shooter, I can see on point, and he got eight threes.